given the nature of these organizations, are there potentially remnants of an organization that are still running around in hiding uh, and still potentially plotting? Uh, absolutely. Uh, and we will continue to hunt them down the same way we're doing with remnants of al-Qaeda in the Fatah or elements uh, of al-Shabaab in Somalia or terrorists who operate uh, anywhere around the world. But what we can accomplish is to dismantle this network, this force that has claimed uh, to control this much territory uh, so that they can do us harm. Uh, and, and that's going to be our objective. And as I said before, I'm, I'm pleased to see that uh, there's unanimity uh, among our friends and allies that that is a worthy goal and they are prepared uh, to work with us in accomplishing that goal. Uh, with respect to the situation on the ground in Syria, uh, we will not be placing U.S. ground troops to try to control uh, uh, the areas that are part of the conflict inside of Syria. I don't think that's necessary for us to accomplish our goal. We are going to have to find effective partners on the ground to push back against ISIL. Uh, and the moderate coalition there is one that we can work with. We have experience working with many of them. They have been, to some degree, outgunned uh, and outmanned. Uh, and that's why it's important for us to work with our friends and allies to support them more effectively. Uh, but keep in mind that when you have uh, U.S. forces, other advanced nations uh, going after ISIL and putting them on the defensive and putting them on the run, it's pretty remarkable what then ground forces can do, uh, even if initially they were uh, uh, on the defensive against ISIL. So that is a developing strategy uh, that uh, we are going to be consulting with our friends, our allies, our regional partners. Uh, but the bottom line is uh, we will do what is necessary in order to make sure that ISIL uh, does not uh, threaten the United States or our friends and partners. Okay? Uh, one last question. Uh,